Back in 2021, me and my dad built my first stealth camper inside of a Ford Transit Connect that I used to go on photography adventures around the country. Recently, we completed the second iteration inside of a Ford Transit Custom, and she was finally ready for her first adventure. All right, so five months in the making. Finally, I've got this uh, Ford Transit Stealth Camper Mark II built. Fingers crossed all the problems ironed out. I had a, quite a few issues with it uh, going into limp mode and stuff, but that appears to be all sorted. And so I'm taking her on a maiden voyage down to Cornwall, currently headed down to Padstow now on the M5. I haven't really got a plan in mind. Uh, just want to get back into the creative flow. I've uh, not really been creating much as you would have seen on the channel. But um, the plan is to use this trip as a kind of springboard to get back into it. I'm just going to film, see where I end up, see what I capture and uh, take you guys along with me. Well, it was going so well um, until this happened. So I just having weird temp gauge issues and I've pulled over and um, pissing out coolant again. So I literally have no idea what is going on with this bloody van. We had to replace the thermostat because um, I was having issues with that. So we replaced all of that. Um, the turbo. I think turbo vanes were stuck so I've cleaned all that because it kept going into limp mode and it seemed to be all right I've got like most of the way to Padstow um, but yeah I, I just started hear, hearing that coolant pissing out so I've had to pull over in a Texaco car park and um, just let it depressurize um, bit of a shitter um, I'm just gonna let that return to normal then hopefully press on because I'm only like 20 minutes outside of Padstow uh, and I would hate to have to cool off the whole trip because of this sodding van but um, that's the joys of road trips and that's the joys of owning a vehicle I guess so uh, let's see what happens. After a few more miles following this fine fellow I arrived at my first stop on the trip Padstow. Right made it to uh Padstow. Um, no idea what's going on with the van. Um, I'm just going to do the very British thing of ignoring it until it goes wrong. See how far I can get on this road trip. But um, yeah, we're at Padstow now, so I'm going to go explore the town, maybe fly the drone, take some photos, and grab some food. So let's go and check it out. So, I don't know, I'll be honest, I feel a bit bummed out about this this van. It's put me in a bit of a weird mood. Um, that and the weather isn't great. Um, so, took a few photos and a bit of footage in Padstow, but um, just not feeling it, you know? So, I'm gonna head off now to um, a place called Perrinporth, which is a nice little town just down the coastline a little bit and have a look around there, get some food. I didn't get any in, uh, in Padstow, so I'll, I'll get some food there. And then um, my plan is to uh, find a park up tonight, not a campsite, a bit of a wild camp. First night in the van, I'll do a stealth camp. So find a place to, to park. Uh, that is if I don't break down, but driving this van now is giving me uh, giving me anxiety but um I've just got the heaters on full blast and it seems to be stabilizing the temperature 
Uh, I haven't had a coolant leak since, so fingers crossed. So, yeah, this is, uh, I guess, the realities of van life and driving a van, going on road trips. It's not always plain sailing, so. Yeah, onwards to Perrinpulf. just got to the campsite that I'm staying at tonight um, yeah I decided well I could a I couldn't find anything on park for night round here that was decent and B I figured I'm just gonna get an early night get my head down um, after a pretty pretty uh, well not shit but disappointing day I mean the whole thing with the van kind of got me down a little bit the weather wasn't great at Padstow and Perrinporth and I feel like I haven't really hit uh, hit my stride yet. Um, but we've got three more days, so hopefully I'll get some good stuff. Um, but instead of just leaving the video here, I figured I'll show you uh, a little bit of the, the camper. I'm going to do a full separate van tour, which will go into how I built it and everything in a lot more detail. But um, I figured I'd give you a little little tour now a quick one um before i sign off for the night but uh, yeah i'm at this place called spitfire park it's an old uh spitfire base down at perrinporth um and actually now the the mist has started to uh burn off it looks like we might have a nice sunset but it's just a shame i can't fly the drone but anyway let's show you the van before i sign off for the day Ooh, let's go yeah if only we had that earlier on would have nice campsite's pretty dead but here we go lights are going funny but yeah here's the uh, stealth camper mark ii uh, if you've seen my first one back in the day 2021 um, you'll notice that this is a lot more spacious and also went for the lovely uh, quilted red diamond cushions this time. Um, got me electric cool system wired up there. And then in the back here, similar thing to last time, a little bit different in terms of the front and storage. Um, I need to finish all this bottom bit here, but yeah, that's kind of like my cooking area, my desk area. So at the minute I was just transferring some footage and images off. Uh, bedding and stuff up there and under here there's a um, hell of a lot of storage so there's loads of stuff under there this like the last bed pulls out into a double so that unhooks at the side and then pulls out into a double bed so yeah that's where i will be uh sleeping tonight um at this rather nice but rather empty uh campsite here in Perrinporth. but thanks very much for watching this video um i know it's not been the best but this is what happens on road trips um this is what happens when you travel things don't always go to plan but i'm going to plan some cool things for the rest of the trip so stay uh, stay tuned and uh, i'll see you on the next one take care